I used to say the stupidest things and people would just laugh because I said them. Now I say stupid things and apparently they're just stupid. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of Wolsen Lords of Mayhem a channel favorite for the community. And we all know that every once in a while, from time to time, Wolson Studios breaks a promise that they made to their community. But this time, they promised us monthly development communication, and today they dropped the development update for August 2022. Let's quickly check the calendar to see what day it is. August 31st. Perfect. They literally barely got it in, which is true Wolson fashion. I think you're really going to like this article. Maybe like not for like the game, but I think it's going to make the video entertaining. Oh, I love covering Wolson. Here we go. They just give me so much material. Probably going to be a short video because there's really not a lot to cover, but there is something that is very telling about what is happening. Greeting Ascended! It's been a few weeks since we launched controller support and UI overhaul for the Wolson Patch 1160. Reading your feedback has been a long gestating project, has been wonderful, and we are delighted on how well received it's been. Oh really? However, there's always room to improve. So today we want to cover the future changes and additions coming to controller support and UI. They're also going to talk to us about a new backend, and they're going to be talking to us about some rebalancing. Okay? intro paragraph. So here's what's coming for UI and controllers. PlayStation controller support and UI integration. Rumble, ooh, you'll be adding dead zone for analog stick input. Okay, the ability to remap controller. That is required. Mapping templates, you can easily switch between predefined layouts. That's actually good. For all the players who are using controllers or keyboard on mouse, we will also eventually be adding new functionality to reward selection pop-ups allowing them to be minimized and cute that is also really good okay so controller support launched it's only for a certain type of controller you can't do a lot this is just what you get they're going to continue to modify that who knows how long until we get that update this is the actual paragraph that i find very very interesting i'll read it and then i'll give you my opinion Moving Wolson's back-end infrastructure into the future. Over the course of September, we will be switching our back-end infrastructure from GameSpark to an in-house solution built by our engineering team. Oh, really? This will ensure that we can handle future game development, improve the scalability, fault tolerance, and performance of our services. Migrating the player database to this new solution will require a downtime period, during which players will not be able to access Wolson's online component. We will, of course, be giving you all advance notice once we have narrowed down the exact date when the migration will take place. Once complete, no action will be required on your part except to connect to the online game and play. Aaron, what exactly are they talking about when it comes to back-end infrastructure? Okay, this is my opinion. My opinion, I do not know. There's not many people that play this game. But at one point, there was a lot of people that played this game. I am guessing Wolson has no longer wants to rent servers from Game Sparks because nobody is playing. So what they are doing is they are moving all of their online to their own server, which is probably going to be way cheaper instead of like, you know, renting out these server farms or for them, maybe just one server. It is a true sign of being on life support for a game, which we've known for a very, very long time. No longer renting server space. They're just going to take care of it on their own. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I they don't want to spend that money anymore. We'll just do it ourselves. All bad. Balancing plans. Some time ago, we mentioned we are preparing a balancing pass for all skills in the game. And now we're at the stage where we will start internal playtesting very soon with the little milestone. With this little milestone, we wanted to take a moment to reiterate the scope of the intentions and provide some content for our plans. Along with skills, we'll also be balancing unique items to help promote their utility, value, and potential for interesting builds. On top of that, we'll also be assessing the 
parity of weapon types with a particular focus on two-handed weapons. Barbarian archetypes rejoice. These extensive balancing changes will be developed with future content in mind and therefore will launch with Chapter 4. Okay. Chapter 4 will be coming to the game. Hopefully it is a conclusion to the actual campaign story. On top of that, we're going to get skills rebalance. We are going to get unique item rebalance, and we are going to get particularly a buff to two-handed weapons. Okay. And then it basically just says they can't tell us anything about Chapter 4. But join the Discord and you can give us your feedback. All right, so that is the August update. Improvements to controller. They are no longer going to be using their existing servers and they're going to be moving to their own servers. And we are going to be getting chapter four with skills and unique item balance. Okay. Wow. <laughs> the Wilson community rejoice. Well, let's just quickly Take a look because this has been posted for multiple hours and we will see what the community thinks of this drop of this communication update. All right, we'll go right here. Monthly development update, August 2022. Dead game. This invitation has expired or you do not have permission to join. Just give up. I follow every update and boy, it's huge. Not. I don't know what keeps you guys going because how many players you got? Question mark. You don't listen to your players and you just don't answer. Dead game indeed. Don't know what that says. Don't know what that says. Five comments total. All of them. I'm sorry. Three of five that I can read are bad. What do you mean? How many players do you got? I'm sure there's still some people playing. Let's check the Steam charts. Peak 24 hours is 169. And there is multiple times on this graph that it falls into the low 60s. 64 online players. 64. Over here too, I saw it. 64. Most days at most times, this game is double digit player base, which actually really makes, I know a lot of people don't play online, right? So there's probably more players than that that don't play online. They play offline mode. I get that. I'm not writing those players off, but for the most part, there's not many people playing Wilson, and I actually totally understand why they no longer want to pay for those servers. That is the news. What does everybody think? Is chapter four and these new skill and unique rebalancing going to bring the players back? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Two asks at the end of this video. Ask number one, I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. Hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it. It does help the channel with our goal of 20,000 subs on the year. Ask number two, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 43 members that have signed up. Become an instant ARPG VIP and get Patreon exclusive content at the first link in the description. We have a weekly podcast, weekly blog post, access to the VIP lounge in the Discord, which gives you access to me if you have any questions or want to chit chat. Also, you get a special title, and then based upon where you sign up, extra goodies. Again, first link in the description. Wilson, Lords of Mayhem, August update. Hopefully you were entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out. <laughs>